Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to be speaking about one of the so-called great American mathematicians. Actually, in my opinion, I wouldn't even call him a mathematician's backside, but nonetheless, um, I came upon him because of a comment his moronic little grandson, Ted Courant, wrote on one of my LinkedIn posts. So this is going to be an interesting video. Stay tuned. Let's begin. Now, uh, Richard Curran was a Polish immigrant. Uh, well, he, he was born in Poland, at least, I think. Yeah. And uh, of Jewish stock originally, ended up in the United States. And one of his uh, famous books, so to speak, is called What is Mathematics? So <clears throat> let me just show you what it looks like. <clears throat> it has a cover like this. And uh, guess what? It's endorsed by another Jew. A very famous one. Can you guess who? That's right. Old Albert, who was useless and clueless at mathematics. And uh, Albert Einstein was really the father of all theatrical physicists. I mean, his theory of relativity has never been proved, despite the many, many, many articles uh, published about it. And despite all the hoopla and all the attention it gets on the media, it's, it's a theory that is such complete garbage because Einstein had no clue what is the concept of time, okay? And so Einstein endorsed this book by saying, a lucid representation of the fundamental concepts and methods of the whole field of mathematics. Well, you know, I wouldn't trust anything Einstein said because Einstein was a little bit above average in intelligence, but for crying out loud, crying out very loud, in fact, Einstein was no mathematician at all. Okay, so let's just get rid of that and let's go to the actual Google preview. So now <clears throat> the very first sentence in Richard Curran's book is, I would say, the only sentence that is true. The rest of it, Curran is completely clueless about everything. So he says, number is the basis of modern mathematics. By the way, I can tell you right now, today, the majority of so-called math academics would take issue with that. Uh, for example, that uh, prolific troll called Zealous Malum on Psy.Math would completely disagree with that statement. In fact, he'd say that mathematics is not even about number or measure. Okay, but so let's give uh, Richard some credit because he does get it right. Number is the basis not of modern mathematics, of all mathematics, okay? And he says, but what is number? A good question, which he fails to, to answer in all its complexity. So he says, what does it mean to say that a half plus a half equals one and a half times a half is equal to a quarter and minus one times minus one is equal to one. So he goes ahead and describes a whole lot of garbage, which has nothing to do with what is actually a number, okay? And so I'm pretty certain that that, that idiot, Professor Gilbert Strang from MIT, uh, got influenced by this book or had a lot of uh, influence on this book. But none of these idiotic mathematicians had a clue what is number, okay? And so I actually describe how you can uh, multiply numbers, and I even tell you what a number is, in exactly the same way for for any particular number that you have. So it doesn't matter if it's an integer or a natural number. A natural number is a rational number, by the way. The only real numbers are the rational numbers. Excuse the pun, but there is no such thing as a real number. It's a completely garbage uh, concept which doesn't exist outside a dysfunctional mind. And, and so I show you in one of my videos here, why is multiplication defined differently for fractions and whole numbers or is it really? And I'll show you in this video um, that uh, multiplication works the same way for any type of rational number. And there is a very good definition for it. You can look up that definition in my video 
and you can watch this video carefully and read all the articles that I list over here to learn more about number and how we got number and how to do multiplication. And I have many other videos showing you exactly what number is all about. But so in any case, uh, this current goes ahead and quotes something by Kronecker, which is totally unremarkable. Um, and he continues then with the laws of arithmetic. Arithmetic doesn't have any laws. Arithmetic comes to us directly from geometry. So any of the mainstream mathematical cranks who tell you that there are laws of arithmetic, you can know straight away that's complete garbage. And then he says the multiplication of integers are governed by certain laws. <laughs> well, let me explain to you people. Integers are rational numbers. Natural numbers are rational numbers. All numbers are rational numbers. There is no other kind of number. And if you read my uh, article, How We Got Numbers, you'll understand that. But now, of course, the moronic and idiotic academics of the last two to three hundred years did not know these things. So, why am I uh, worked up about this guy? Well, this book was written by Courant and partly by Herbert Robbins, and then edited or revised by that idiot, Ian Stewart, whose book has, whose calculus book, Concepts, uh, has become ubiquitous and is used by most universities worldwide. So these, these academics are complete fools who have no clue what is mathematics. That's the ironical part. Okay, so yes, uh, this Quran got the first sentence right, but he got everything else wrong. And then he says, while the Greeks chose the geometrical concept of point and line, they didn't choose the concept of point and line. That's completely false. Um, in fact, uh, Quran didn't understand the elements. He hadn't even studied the elements to the extent where he could have an understanding like I have today. I am the greatest mathematician, not any of these effing morons who came before me and don't know anything about mathematics. But just to prove to you that I am persecuted, this little bastard, Ted Curran, this guy here, who's, who's uh, you can look up his uh, uh, webpage here. He also works at this New Road School. And I'm not telling you anything that you don't know. This is, this is here. Um, he is now, he's even got a wiki article after him. And, and why? Because he's accomplished nothing. I could just laugh at what he's described here. Uh, symplectic manifolds, Poisson manifolds, Dirac theory of constraints. <laughs> and, and I don't know what else he says, but I, could, I couldn't stop laughing when I read this. I mean, the guy is a, he's a moron, but he's still got a PhD from the University of California, Berkeley. Okay. And it's interesting to know that he was a student of Alan Weinstein, another nincompoop who did some work supposedly in differential geometry and especially in Poisson geometry. Oh, really? You did? What did you do, Alan? What did you do? <laughs> so I have to laugh at, at, uh, at these people because they control Wikipedia. Now, this evil creep comes to my wiki, to my Wikipedia, I'm getting confused now. To my, my tongue's getting tight with. To my LinkedIn page, I, I, I post a comment and look what the bastard writes. He says, John Gabriel, as usual, uses different definitions. That's completely false, by the way, and thinks that conventional definitions equal idiots. No, I don't think the definitions are idiots, but I do think that you, I don't think, I know that you, Ted Gorant, are a fucking idiot. <laughs> and of course, there's no other way I can converse with people like this. Look what he says, just a warning, ignore him. And then I responded to him. I actually had the courtesy of responding to him. And I, I ended up by saying what he's truly telling is how you've not been able to point out any flaws. And he didn't point out any flaws. He instantly went on a besmirch campaign. Now this creep works at the New Road School. I mean, I can just imagine all these other nincompoops here who teach mathematics. Uh, just by looking at them, I kind of get the opinion that they don't, they've never even really understood anything about mathematics. But here they are teaching mathematics at New Road School. By the way, I can't apply to any school in the United States because my reputation has been so, even if I could work, which I can't now anymore, 
has been so uh, denigrated, has been so libeled by evil reptiles like this guy here, like this Theodore James Courant and others like him, that nobody would even care to look at it. Everybody would think, oh yeah, I'm a crank because I don't agree with the mainstream. But that's not the definition of a crank. The definition of a crank is one who cannot be convinced in the overwhelming, in the face of overwhelming evidence. Of course, none of these idiots can find anything wrong with what I say. They just don't like it because they know they're wrong. They know it exposes their ignorance. And most of all, they do not like me. Okay, so I am the one who's the reason they don't even want to entertain any of my ideas. If it's got anything to do with John Gabriel, immediately it's anathema. Now, I'm not asking for these fools' approval because they're idiots. I mean, who's this guy? I mean, he's a, he's a knucklehead with a PhD in mathematics. What does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. Okay, so he has no clue what his number. Neither did his granddaddy. I mean, his granddaddy, this guy here, was an idiot. Okay, he was an idiot. He wrote a book which was total garbage. This, what is, I wouldn't pay a penny for this book. This is how absolute trash it is. Okay, so please, people, um, remember that whenever somebody says certain things about me, it's usually because they think that of themselves and because they are insecure individuals and all they want to do is libel me and make sure that everybody else who is pretty high up in the church of academia has the same idea don't fall for it read what i write don't believe what other people tell you do you believe what this idiot is telling you if you do you've already admitted that he's smarter than you that he knows more than you that he's right but he's, he hasn't refuted anything I've said. All he's done is made false accusations. Totally false. Okay? So do you see why I get worked up? Because academics are creeps. They're insecure. They'd never survive outside of an academic environment. I mean, they'd never even be able to live in the real world. They could only live in a world where they stare up at each other's arses, excuse me, um, in terms of their uh, phylacteries, okay? And the higher up the phylactery, the higher up the arse is, and the, high, the longer you have to stare upwards. So this is how the Church of Academia functions. If you're not one of the high priests, then anything you have to say will not be considered. Well, I've gotten pretty worked up, like I haven't been for a long time, but I feel that this kind of individual really needs to be punished. Will he be punished? Absolutely not. Uh, he and others like he are actually criminals. They're criminals because what, what they've done is they've systematically destroyed my reputation. That is absolutely evil, given the great work that I've done and the very fact that I am the world's greatest mathematician and that it was I who produced the first rigorous formulation of calculus. Not anybody else. I, not Newton, not Leibniz, not that idiot Corsi, not that drunken Weistras. No one who came before me was able to produce a rigorous calculus. People, this is probably the last time I'm going to get worked up, but I can tell you right now that um, it's, it's individuals like this who one would never like to meet or even be around because they're such evil, filthy, criminal people. They just can't, they just can't be reasoned with. There is no way you can reason with an individual like this. My name is John Gabriel and this is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.